Are they gone? Where's Nana? Look, I know you didn't go. No, where is she? Eric, I had no intention. No, I want you to answer me. And you wonder why it's so hard for me to stay married to you. Maybe I was wrong, but... Maybe. Look, I couldn't let you do what you had planned, could I? It's like watching an accident happen. A little child runs out... I'm not some little child. This is my life you're messing with. Whoa, if you're blaming Mother for being on that riser with you, don't. That was our doing. And you saw how the crowd responded, Dad. Well, crowds are easily manipulated. Apparently, you think fathers are, too. What did you say to her to make her leave? She didn't leave. We put her in the steam room. What? We locked her in the steam room. With the steam room? Just... Give you a mom to she could overheat. She could collapse in there. I'm in there for longer twice a week. What? Did you put them up to this? Uh, Would you wait for me in the showroom? Parents. Wait for me in the showroom. Daddy. Eric was warned. You were warned. Security hasn't thrown you off these premises? You're the one who's not supposed to be on these premises. Don't come around here boo-hooing, Nick. Just because Eric outsmarted you. Now, we all know that that marriage clause in your contract is totally unenforceable. Do you really want to bait me like that woman? Because I have taken you down before and I'll do it again. Only this time I guarantee you, you will not get back up. Eric's done with you. And that little performance on stage of yours doesn't fool me. We're still married. That poor man. You have basically surgically removed his spine in this marriage. He stood up to you, didn't he? He knows force is not safe for Brooke with you around. What is it with you and Brooke? Does Taylor ever wonder about that? It's gonna happen, Stephanie. One day. Soon. Somebody will put you out of your misery. You just can't control your feelings for Brooke, can you? Well, fortunately, you have no more control over this company. And you certainly have no control over me. Has your father calmed down? Oh. I always believed the things that you said to me, Stephanie about how bad I was, about whatever you did to me, how that was my fault. But now that you're doing it to somebody else, I see things a lot more clear. Donna never chased after Eric. She liked him. Something that you were never capable of doing. And she was happy to see that he was happy. She never forced him into making any promises. You'll um, forgive me if I view your sister's behavior um, a little differently? No. No, I won't. You knew that your marriage was over. You just didn't want Donna's dream to come true. So you had to save face in front of the press. You had to save face with your adoring clients. But they never really adored you, Stephanie. And you rode on Eric's coattails. Meanwhile, you made it look like it was the other way around. Well, this time, you can't dress things up with good intentions. Because what you did to my sister was horrible. You know, I admire your devotion to your sister. Don't. Don't you dare patronize me. I couldn't defend myself to you for many, many years, but I'll be damned if I stand by and watch you do to Donna what you did to me. It ends tonight. So Miss Logan was fine then? Yeah, I, that was a pretty rotten thing someone did to her. Well, wounded pride heals pretty quickly. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, then. Okay, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Smart man. Did you see the look on his face? Nobody gives a damn about you anymore, Stephanie. Even your poor, brainwashed sons and daughters would just love to be free from you. You're the expert on that. Your children have never been anything but free of you. I didn't know how to protect my family back then. But after watching you, I see how it's done. 
How's that? Eliminate the threat. Well, Donna hasn't been eliminated. She's just damp. Yes, that's right. Humiliation is your stock and trade. And you love it because your victims can just keep coming back for more. But I find that very inefficient. I'm calling security. You don't command anyone around here anymore. Did you forget that? But don't worry. This will be our last conversation. Hallelujah. No, no. No, don't mistake me, Stephanie. I'm not done with you. I'll just be choosing my moment. And you'll never see it coming. You better change out of those wet things you catch your death. So could you. You know, that's what your father and sister keep saying. How could you do this to Eric? Did I not come to you? Did I not say, Donna, if you really love him, you will not come out on that stage publicly and embarrass him? You were the only one who stood to be embarrassed, Stephanie. You slept with his son. Now you want to tell the entire world you're sleeping with the father? You open the door to a scandal like that, honey, and there's no end to it. No, it's simpler than that. I let Eric be Eric. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Whatever he wants is okay with me. Half of what Eric wants isn't okay with him. Honey, he's an artist. He's a dreamer, for God's sakes. He's addicted to the grand gesture. And then once he's made it, he gets scared to death because he knows he's going to wake up in a few days and say to himself, oh my God, what have I done? I have spent our entire marriage saving him from his... Free spirit. You don't think that's accidental, do you? That's why he married me, Donna. That's part of the contract. He needs me, and he knows it. No. No, he doesn't need you anymore, Stephanie. And he has made that clear to everyone but you. He wants an adventure. It happens every four or five years. You could set your clock by it, believe me. He wants wild, mad, passionate sex. Donna, it's so much harder for men growing old than it is for women. He'll get scared. He'll get lost. He'll want his old life back because... because he won't have to suck his belly in. He won't have to say, Oh, darling, it's so wonderful being out till three or four in the morning dancing with you. Until that moment, until that realization happens, my part of the contract is to make sure that the damage that you do, that any other woman he's been involved with does, is undoable. You're not a dim girl, Donna. I know that. You know I'm right. Eric may leave me. And I'll respect that. But he will never, ever go back to that misery of a life he had with you. You won't be there. You'll be long gone. Waterproof mascara the next time. Why am I always left to turn out the lights? Eric, is that you? Eric? 